So welcome back to the channel and uh, this week's project is uh, just something we've been working on for a little bit trying to tie up some loose ends. Um, as many of you know if you've looked at a couple of our videos you've seen that we've had the um, the Renogy 1 core set up and we've also had the, the existing old monitor on here works really good and of course we've got the inverter but we wanted to put the new the uh, 300 amp shunt the Bluetooth shunt and in order to do that we had to do a little rearranging in the battery bay and it was a bit squirrely getting it connected at first but uh, all worked out pretty well I'll show the footage when I brought it online initially I brought it on here and it wouldn't let me change a few of the settings or when I did change the settings it wouldn't stick and I'll give you an example of that I'm still having trouble with that I got a 600 amp battery bank but it won't stay it stays at 100 so I'm not sure I'm gonna put a work order in with tech support and ask about that and uh, the low state of charge alarm goes off um, I got that to stay um, but all the settings are are working well yeah, I can't really complain about that um, so let's look at what's going on on the inside as I get the camera ready okay so we put the core one uh, down in the battery bank uh, this is the this is the object that I bought I got it just before Christmas break uh, pretty cool device easy install uh, manuals pretty decent but there are some instructions in here that don't I don't think it actually fits the application very well because there's a few janky things you have to do over and over to get it to sync up uh, the smart shunt uh, went right in place a couple of the settings won't stick as I mentioned over there on the panel itself like that one right there I can I can change that uh, as many times as I want to 600 amp battery bank and uh, it won't stay I can change it on the the Renogy one core or I can change it right here on the app I'll come back to it later and I'll either get a low state of charge alarm or I'll get something that will tell me that it's just not uh, the same battery bank that's holding at the moment go figure I'll come back in 10 minutes and and it'll be changed but um, I gotta tell you that you know I'm looking for something simple and this is definitely it it shows uh, the wattage the battery voltage uh, shows the temperature that's in that battery bay uh, totally cannot complain it's it seems to be doing exactly as I need it to do um, so let's take a pic peek down here and there right on cue there that little beat I know you did you hear that this is an ongoing issue and if I go back to this it'll tell me no matter how many times I change this if I go up here I know the battery's close to 98% right now so if I just throw a 98 in here and hit confirm and let that set don't touch it just leave it be at least 30 seconds if I don't touch it it will normally clear itself out oh, yeah I should say I have to go to the low state of charge and reset that
Okay, we're at the end of the video here. And I was having trouble with this device, the Smart Shunt, retaining its memory, okay? And you recall a couple minutes ago, this thing would not keep the value. It kept going back to 100 amp hours. And I have three 212 amp hour batteries in it. It wouldn't keep this value, nor would it keep the uh, state of charge alarm. Um, it would not retain that value. It would not retain the low state of charge trigger point, uh, which was, uh, it would always go back to 50%. And uh, so now it's keeping it. So here was the trick. This is what worked it out. This is what made it work for me. I go to, to the shunt itself and I disconnected the power to it. And I just pulled my red wire off as you can see. Pull the red wire. I gave it about 40 seconds, almost a minute. Put the wire back on. I push and held the reset about 15 seconds. And then I went back to my chair because you know it's got electric heat and it's pretty comfortable. And then I brought open the app, the DC Home app, and right here. So I got the DC Home app running, and I went to Devices, and I scanned New. So I went Plus on that top right hand. So as I plused that, it discovered the, the Smart Shunt, and I brought it in. And this time, it allowed me to set all the values and it kept them in memory. So we are good to go. Everything's doing what it's supposed to. And I can't tell you how nice that's going to be to have that remote monitoring for this. So one last quick scan. Yep, keeping the memory there. And the alarms are still on. That's good. The value triggers 25%. So it's working now. Everything is like it should be. And, uh, all right. So that's a wrap. That's all we got for this week. And, uh, we'll see how these three batteries work together and, uh, more to come on that. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next project. Mm -hmm.